Fire Stick 2 with Alexa just released now in October 2016. You want to know how to configure? Come over and I'll show you a few tricks. How are we doing everyone? This is Dario from Media Box and today, yes, we're gonna configure this little device for $40, the Fire Stick 2. We call it 2 because just got released in October 2016 and this one comes with the remote control with the Alexa for about $39. Real worth it. For $40, I got one in my TV. It was beautiful. The purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you how to configure this little device. You're planning to buy one of these? We're gonna configure it today. A few things I want to go over. Um, technically, to buy one of these, you buy from Amazon, so you get the account already set up. But I guess some people buy it already pre configured they buy it in, uh, from Amazon, or what they call it, Unlock, or whatever. So they try to run one of these, and then you get the prompt that you got to set up uh, an account. So I got, because I got a question already, what do you mean, I got to set up an account? So to my favorite, if you bought it from somewhere else, not from Amazon, Create an account in Amazon. You don't need to put any credit cards. Don't require you to put any credit cards. Just create a simple account with your email, with your email and password because it's going to make it really easy for you to do the account. Because it, with the remote control, it's kind of hard. Put all the questions and your name and address and all those things. Just do it before you guys are going to do this. Create an account. Or if you already bought from Amazon, you don't have to because you already got the Amazon account. By the way, what is coming tomorrow, we're gonna compare the Fire Stick 1, the Fire Stick 2, and the surprise question, can I run Cody? You're gonna see what surprise I got for you, but that's the next video coming out tomorrow. So let's go in and let's config the Fire Stick. All right, so we plug the device. We see the first uh, welcome screen. The OS is booting up. Finally, we see the Fire Stick. So the first thing we're gonna get a searching for the remote control. So install the batteries in remote control. So that way we can activate it right away. Okay, so we're gonna press a key there, home key to pair. It's pretty fast, takes a little a few seconds. Begin a pair. We try to search for it. And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna choose a language. It's only four language. English, English UK, German, I mean Dutch, and and Chinese, no Spanish, and, and no other language at least available to start off the fire stick. So you take my remote control with Alexa. So we're gonna choose a language, as you see what I did before, those four language. Okay. Search for the network. Now the network, we're gonna enter the key. Remember there's two network support, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. If you want it faster, I will choose the 5 gigahertz. If you get problem because your router is too far, they will, I will do recommend uh, switch down to uh, 2.4 because 2.4 is slower but goes faster. 5 gigahertz is faster but have problems trying to go to too many walls. So you gotta give it a shot. I will go five first. The next thing is going to ask you to create an account. Do not do this, please, in the computer on the Fire Stick. It's too too much a nightmare to ask you for credit card or kind of information. Just open a regular uh, Amazon account. No credit card required. If you're not going to buy anything, you don't need to put any credit card. Just open a regular Amazon account. And whatever you send, whatever email you register, same password. That's what you're going to be using writing your Fire Stick. It's about two minutes and 15 seconds. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna escape. We just show you how easy it is to use uh, Alexa and give you a few tips. And we're gonna skip this and go right straight to the configuration. All right, so let's do the configuration. We're gonna move all the way down to settings. Right in settings, we're gonna check the display. Actually, let me go on the first screen, the screen saver. Here is real nice, just click once and what you see Amazon collection, it will display picture from Amazon. But if I click one more time, and if you have Amazon photo, photos, you can, um, as you see the different directory, so you can display your own personal pictures. All right, real nice, as before we leave that away. 
display we didn't leave another one just do a little calibration you see we don't require calibration but you can always check by doing a calibration on the screens next thing we're going to check the audio we leave it on if you don't want the sound when you click with the mouse with the remote control you can shut that off by default it's on okay and a screen mirror we're going to do that now this is real nice we're going to be able to mirror my phone i'm using a note 2 okay so we're gonna we're gonna click on it okay it's looking for my phone i'm gonna activate my my screen mirror my phone and it's really nice because if you want to share pictures you have in your phone or you want to play something from youtube you can do that this is real nice so you gotta make sure you're on the same network what i mean is if you have your phone you need to disconnect it from the actually um uh, data plan you need to be in the same network on the home network download the amazon app and let it find you just in your okay as you see full screen full pause yes it's so it requires you to be on the same network okay because a lot of people have that question it's not working that's because they have the data connection so you got to make sure you are on the same wi-fi and you'll be okay it should work as you see here this is samsung 2 no 2 the old one but it was perfect real nice all right so we're going to exit so we try that okay next one parental control if you want to see that you just it's off you turn it on you put your code and it's done you can do that through the website and amazon as well too okay now bluetooth devices the remote as you saw this being uh, automatically detected here if you get any, any game controller bluetooth you can connect the search with no problem i tried a um a keyboard so if you got a a, a bluetooth keyboard works perfect the only thing you're going to have to do you hit the device and you turn it on and it's going to search as you see here i try an apple uh, wireless keyboard it works real nice just one thing to have in mind if you're going to leave your keyboard on and the remote control for some reason when you reset the machine okay and actually will detect first the keyboard and then the remote control starts working so the way to do is real nice you can put the keyboard if you're going to do any typing and you can shut it off and now it's going to happen like you start and you uh, for some reason your remote is dead i'm going to be working all right applications here well, you really i don't know you really want Big brother watching so i will turn that off okay and i don't want amazon collect data on it okay and here see some of the applications alexa it's not much just give you some information on alexa and things to say to alexa so you can give it a shot to try it okay again here if you want the applications to be updated automatically you can leave it on if you feel like you want to know what application you're allowed to update then shut it off you turn it off and then you manually you can turn it on okay it's something like subscriptions all right and no notification from the store you can shut that off if you feel like now photos this one you have to turn it on if you do chromecast you need uh, you need to turn it on i'm sorry not chromecast if you're going to do com um mirror cast you need to leave it on this way it works with your um with your phone okay so support devices support cast circle game that's if you want to have a nickname and the nickname will be available on the network something this synchronized on the games Okay, through the cloud so we're going to leave it on and manage the installation applications here you can clean data so if you have any problem with some applications it's been crashing it's giving some problems you can come here you click on it and you can clean the cache or clean data remember if you run an application like Cori, and if you just go and clean data you delete all the information scott some of the applications require you to re-entry using them and everything some you just clean the data and nothing happened because it's not collecting any uh, information or value information that you need to re-enter the game all right but that will be the place you to clean if applications give you any problem 
So that will win. Then we go to system. Here, sleep. If you click with sleep, it will go just sleep. About we can check the information. This is the latest version in Amazon 2 and it's 5.2220. There is some, there's supposed to be a new one coming up, but we don't know the release date. You can see how the amount we have available on the system. Okay, anyway, we can see in the storage, we can see the name where we are connected, and we can see the controllers. Okay, that's because I put my keyboard and also the controller I have in my hand right now, and you can check. You update if you just put this now or later on no matter what you're gonna have to check for update so you check for update and it will let you know there when it requires actually an update here will say it will show you right over here there's an update available and you have to force it yourself execute it, it will not automatic execute the update okay that's really important I guess it's important because if later on I hear they're going to remove some of the things on the new on the new um, version, we're not going to allow you to run code anymore. So there's something to see. And I think if you now execute the update, you'll be okay. But if you go and execute the update, then we'll be all gone. But we have to wait for that. Okay. So we see network. Quiet time. If you want everything off, you don't want any any messages. You can turn that on, and you get no messages at all. Now, this is the important thing in the trick part. This option, if you want to be available to be able to see your device online, if you want to connect you in a USB in another computer, and you want to be able to see files, you need to turn this on. Okay, we'll give a warning message not to do that, but you have to do that. That's what it thinks. That's what I know. Maybe the next version, they're going to remove this, this one out. So if you remove this out, you're not going to be able to run any applications we're going to turn this on and what happened now you're going to be able to run any application out of the the amazon store what that means is you can download any software um, from anywhere and install it yourself such as Cordy and such as some other application twin the twin viewer if you guys want to see how that works i'm going to give you a link right now and i show you how that all works together okay but that's really important. What I know, the next version, they're going to remove these two versions. Now, if they do that, you're going to only be available to run applications that allow you to run from the um, um, from the Amazon store. We don't know yet, so we have to wait for it. So it's important. We're going to leave those things on. Okay. If you're interested to run applications out of the network, location, you just type, go here, and you type your zip code. You don't have to if you want. Time zone and language, like I said, it's only a few language. Okay, if you like metric, you can put metric on. Advertising ID, in the case, um, I'm gonna turn it off. I don't want any advertising, so I leave it off. And not much here. Here you reset the machine. You can reset it right now, there's anything on ROM. Easy way to reset it, just take the unplug. But I guess it can maybe be on the back of the TV, so it's hard to reset the machine. And here, if you feel this giving any problem, you wanna restart the machine, you're going to click reset to factory defaults. Remember that all information will be deleted. See, remove all personal data, send the Lord. Anything you've been doing for whatever time will be all gone. Okay. Now, one thing I didn't uh, talk about in the beginning, it comes with the power supply. If you feel, if you want to, a lot of the new TV now has a USB port as well. So you can connect this straight to the TV and the USB port, and you don't have to use your power supply that comes with the unit. But the problem is not the problem, the only thing when you turn your TV on and you want to go right away into the fire stick, you're gonna have to wait until the fire stick reboots because only gets power from the USB when you turn the TV on. But if you want the fire stick to be instant, always on, you're gonna have to put the power on and leave with the power supply. So when you turn the TV on and you put HDMI port one, it's an instant, but if you don't want to use a power supply and you want this device to be off and the TV is off, then I recommend you to use one, the USB port, if it's available on the TV, you can use the USB port, it's five volts, it's universal voltage, anywhere for all these devices, and you can just plug USB cable, run the TV, turn the TV on, this device comes on, and that's it. So if you want to save a plug, it's one way to do it. All right, and then we get the help here, and the accounts. Hi Alexa.
Hello. What's up? Hello, it's 6 p.m. Here's the latest. It's 11 and rainy. Tonight calls for cloudy weather with a low of 3. Did you hear the news? Thank you.